Brian Foster will make that lonely walk. Randy Couture, you've done this many a times before as a fighter. What's going through your mind? I know you haven't walked into a NASCAR super speedway before, but for Brian Foster with so much on the line, what's going through his mind right now? Uh, very focused. You can see the, the focus on his face. He knows he, this is exactly where he wants to be. This is what he's trained for. And, and now the waiting is over. It's always the hard, toughest week, the week of fight week, is all the waiting, all the waiting for fight night to finally get here. You've got your warm up, you've done all the things you do to put your game face on. Look at the game face, it's there, there's the smile. He's ready to go. He told us it was all about setting traps, staying focused, and being intense. And I think he can check all those boxes off as he makes his way toward the cage. The young man out of Sequoia County, Oklahoma, with an impressive record of 27 and 9, 13 KOs, 13 submissions, 26 finishes out of his 27 victories. This guy, like my friend Kenny Florian, ends fights. He absolutely does. Now, I'm not sure. Maybe only one of his fights yep. has actually gone, gone the, the distance. distance to the, the uh, judges. He comes out very, very hard. He goes. He just goes for broke right from the jump, and uh, that's how you end up with a record like that. He's a very explosive fighter, very determined fighter. Stitch Duran gets him ready, a young man who's been training out of Inglewood, Colorado. So he went for elevation. That's not a factor here. You talked to all the fighters here, Andy, and you said, "How about this humidity? How about this heat?" Well, I think that we've seen. The humility, humidity has been a factor. Yep. And I think if it's going to be an issue tonight, it might be a bigger issue for John Fitch. John Fitch is the one that's going to, is the grinder. He wants to get a hold of Brian Foster, take him down, hold him down. That's more John Fitch's style. This might lend itself to more of a striking game if he can keep this on its feet. Now, even standing in the sweaty on this canvas can, can be an issue. So it's going to be interesting to see how that unfolds. We're at sea level. This air is thick, humid. It's yep. almost like breathing peanut butter. I hope that altitude training pays <laughs> off. Our next fighter is a former collegiate wrestler and team captain at Purdue University. He is the last person to ever win the World Series of Fighting Welterweight Championship. Make some noise for John Fitch. Thirty-nine years of age, John Fitch has been telling us for months nutrition is his new secret weapon. And when he gave us a look at his abs yesterday, just because he could, uh, that does not look like a typical thirty-nine-year-old man. <laughs> that was an anatomy chart. Uh, Holy cow! Remarkable. That young man is ripped. Manny Torres working with him in his last couple fights on his diet and nutrition. Uh, it's a bodybuilder's routine he's using, but it's tweaked a little bit because we have a lot more output cardio-wise than the average bodybuilder running around. But he's He's using a very similar regime, and it's working for him. He didn't have to get in the sauna. He didn't have to cut a bunch of water weight for this fight, and he feels fantastic. Here's a number for you, and I want you to digest this because you've been in the world of MMA for a long time, Randy. 21 and 1. That was John Fitch's record between 2002 and 2010. Eight years, he only lost one fight in 22 fights, and he wasn't cupcakes. And his only loss was to a guy named GSP. Right. No, he's had he fought some of the best in this sport, and and done it in grand fashion. He's a tremendous wrestler. Wrestled at Purdue was the team captain there. Uses that wrestling in his fighting style. Some people aren't keen on that style, but right. I love to watch it. Obviously, come from my background too, but uh, he's a tenacious grinder and he will find a way to wear you down. So this is your main event of the night live on NBCSN, the inaugural Professional Fighters League. As we take a look at the tail of the tape in this welterweight division, John Fitch, as we said, 39 years of age, weighed in just over 170 pounds, a 74-inch reach. His opponent, Brian Foster, six years his younger, two inches shorter, and two inches less on the reach. But he is a very powerful, intense, dangerous man as we take a look at the rules one more time in the Professional Fighters League. No knees to the head of a grounded opponent. Fighters considered grounded when two parts of the body other than the feet are on the canvas and a 10-point must system based on aggression and cage control. So we are set to go. It's now time to set it inside in the infield to Jess Securo. Here we go, fight fans. It is time for the Professional Fighters League Daytona main event of the night, sanctioned by the Florida Boxing Commission. And now live from the Daytona International Speedway from Daytona, Florida, are you ready? 
for all the fans tuning in at NBCSN and everybody here tonight. It's about to go down. Somebody make some noise! Your main event is brought to you by Alienware, the ultimate gaming experience. Five rounds in the Professional Fighters League welterweight division. And now, introducing fighting out of the blue corner. His record, 27 wins, 13 wins by knockout, 13 by submission, nine losses. Standing five feet, 10 inches tall, weighing 170 pounds, fighting out of Inglewood, Colorado by way of Sequoia County, Oklahoma, introducing Brian Foster! And now, his opponent across the Decagon, fighting out of the red corner, 29 victories, seven defeats, one draw and one no contest, standing six feet tall, weighing 171 pounds, fighting out of San Jose, Cal California, by way of Fort Wayne, Indiana, presenting John Finch! Cut. So Andrew Glenn gets the assignment, final preparations, and instructions to the fighters as they make their way to the middle of the cage. Step back. Well, get involved with the Professional Fighters League. You can vote who you think is going to win this fight. And right now, it is John Fitch, fight. 60 to 30, and that number will fluctuate throughout the fighting. Glad to have you with us here live on NBCSN from Daytona Beach, Florida, and the Daytona International Speedway. All right, break this one down because it's going to be a quick one, I have a feeling, Randy Couture. You see the head fakes from Brian Foster. He's setting up that right hand, and you saw that right hand come right down the middle and hit Fitch in the forehead. Come. Come back and follow it with a hook. Fitch doing a nice job moving, changing levels, trying to close the distance. There's a single leg and a, and a guillotine attempt by Foster. Fitch waded in on his knees on that, and, and it looks like it's tight. Hard to tell, they're not sweaty yet. This is pretty early. So a dry fighter right now is not built up to sweat, but the humidity is going to allow John Fitch to pop his head out, as you saw it live on cage cam. So up against the fence now, Brian Foster. This is John Fitch's world, as he will get you to the ground and just grind this thing out. Very good from the top position here. Doesn't mind fighting from the guard. We'll find ways to clear his head, posture up, land elbows, land punches, and, and perfectly content to stay right here for the entire round. It's really going to be up to Foster to open his feet, use his feet, create some distance, use that fence, scramble up, get back to his feet, and get off, off of the bottom. Look for Foster to climb into an armbar position here. And there it is, right there. Not sure how tight it is. Pitch is pretty wily. He's a hard guy to submit. This looks to be fairly oh, tight, wow. and there the that elbow slides. comes out. So a good time to go for it for Brian Foster in Absolutely. that position. Absolutely. Still here in the first minute and a half of this fight, they're still fairly dry. The humidity factor hasn't really kicked in. This is a five-round fight, so we're going to see a lot of sweat in this one. I have a feeling that the corner Brian Foster told him it's a five-round fight, pace yourself, he wouldn't listen to it because he's going to come out and just go for it. I think Brian Foster only has one speed. Yeah, exactly. I mean, there's an on switch. You just turn it on or turn it off. And he pointed out this one's scheduled for five rounds in the Professional Fighters League. John Fitch in that top position. Brian Foster now trying to work his way around, but controlling the head of John Fitch, not allowing him to posture up and really land some devastating blows. Again, Fitch content, stepping up. Trapping the hips of Brian Foster with that guard. Makes it hard for Foster to move his hips either way. And it also gives Fitch the ability to clear his head and get a little distance, a little posture to, to land shots. Foster trying to find a way to use the fence to change the angle here and steer himself back out into the open. Again, maybe going for this on bar situation. Man, you've seen a lot of John Fitch's fights over the years. Is this just classic Fitch? This is this is Fitch to a T. This is where he's most comfortable. We've seen him grind out opponent after opponent from this position. 
trying to make Brian Foster get frustrated, get him in a position or have him take a chance that he doesn't normally want to, and that's when John Fitch will go for that submission. But right now, Fitch is staying very active on top, not allowing the referee to stand them up because of inactivity. Starting to see the sweat flow a little bit. That's going to make it harder to hang on to Brian Foster if he wants to use his feet and create some distance. Fitch is going to have a little more trouble. Here, using that anchor, wow. trying to change the angle with his hips is Brian Foster. Fitch with that modified side control right now, controlling the head with Foster, and then using that right hand to just pivot down and deliver the shots. All right, if you're Brian Foster and you're coaching in the corner, what would you be telling your fighter? I would say open your guard, use your feet on those hips, create some distance, try to push this guy back and create some space. Create that scramble where you have a chance of getting back up. Make Fitch work for him. He does not really have to work that hard to sit in your guard and, and punch. John Fitch understanding the game as we approach 45 seconds to go in this fight. Scheduled for five rounds in the welterweight division of the Professional Fighters League. John Fitch really only staying on his feet for about 30, 40 seconds of this first round. And now he's just going to work staying active, not giving the referee an opportunity to stand it up. Because at this point, Brian Foster would probably love for him to step in and say stand it up. Yeah, and, and if Foster was able to tie him up, double overhook his arms, or really bear hug him tight and keep him there for a little bit, and it gets stale, then the referee has to look at standing them up. But Fitch is doing a great job of keeping his head clear, changing the angle with his hips, moving this fight around a little bit in the cage, and landing punches and elbows. 10 second notice there. So round one is now complete. We will stay here commercial free. This fight is being brought to you by Alienware. So we go to the second round between Brian Foster and John Fitch in the welterweight division. As we take a look at that first round, it was definitely Fitch who controlled it. But right now, we're going to step aside and check in with Boss Root. Hey, guys. I'm standing here with Richard Petty's race car, which is a phenomenal driver. Can tonight, both these guys there inside, John Fitch, Brian Foster, can one of them be as great and shine like this guy drives a car? We're going to find out. Back to you guys. Oh, I'm so glad the keys aren't in that. Can you imagine the race has been canceled for the night, but all of a sudden some crazy guys out there running that car? I can hear it. I can feel the energy I, I, I of that see, coming. I can see that happening. John Fitch taking his break. Not a lot being said. Uh, little mouse under the right eye of Fitch. I think that's from that very first straight right hand that Foster uh, landed. Wow. Uh, and then the rest of the fight was Fitch on top of Brian Foster, cr controlling him from the guard as we've seen him do so many times. I think Let's Brian has to change his tactics on the bottom if he go. wants Close to stay up, in this fight. Close he can't up. afford to give away too many rounds like that. You ready? You ready? Round two of five underway here from Daytona Beach, Florida. Spinning kick. Oh, and there's a slip. You got to be careful. That sweat has definitely kicked in. Nice job by Foster. This is how the first round started with both men on their feet. While we have a moment, let's check in with Kayla Harrison. Hey, Todd. I was just listening to Brian Foster's oh. corner. And they were telling him, hit the jab in the green angle, which is what he just did. So it looks like he's listening. That Holy was a nice smokes. right hand landed. A big cut on Fitch. Nice right hand by Foster. Hurt Fitch. You saw Fitch turn and bend at the waist. Now he's looking for the guillotine. Wow. John Fitch having the wherewithal to spin her out of that one. And he's Fitch still is in hurt. trouble. John Fitch, Fitch is, is in big trouble. trouble here. He's in survival mode. Trying to scramble in and get a hold of something. Not unlike we saw Jason Hyde do earlier. Something he can hang on to and protect his head. I'm not sure wow. what uh, that was an explosive moment in the middle of Kayla Harrison. And there's a nice peek out and the turn of the tide there by Brian Foster to secure the takedown. The left eye of Fitch has got a very nice cut under it. That was a solid shot by Brian Foster. There, Fitz kicks him away, uses it to scramble up. Foster willing to let him stand. Absolutely. And I don't blame him. Having, there's a big yeah. uppercut. Double uppercut. these shots. And I think Jump Fitz is still wobbly. Yeah. He is definitely still not quite on strong legs. Foster smart to let him up. One of the best in the happened. business. And now it's John Fitz trying to take the back of Brian Foster. Foster. Just gave up that position. I'm not sure what happened there. 
No shots to the back of the head. The warning being given. And now now Foster Foster's comes moving away. again. Wow, that was a strange turn that of events. It was weird. I couldn't tell if they clashed heads or what happened there, but it almost looked like Foster just went to, to, to all fours and let him take his back. Now Fitch is obviously where he feels comfortable. Foster's got to use his feet. He's got to create space. He's got to find a way to get out from underneath this All-American wrestling. Got the underhook. If he can circle towards that underhook and get his hips under him. Fitch arms out of it very quickly. Look at this. John Fitz trapping the right arm of Brian Foster now going to work. Got to worry about that. Arm Yep. And I think Foster needs to use this as an attempt to scramble and get up. I think that's, a humidity, position. that's a humidity escape. Absolutely. The sweat is definitely a factor here. It's going to be hard for both guys to secure any real position. Now Foster scrambling. Look for him to peek out again, get that arm through. That's it. That is it. It is all over as John Fitch comes alive in the second round. He got hurt. I couldn't see what the submission was. It was cross body. Did he hook his arm, hook Brian Foster's arm with John Fitch's legs and apply some sort of arm bar? Two minutes ago, John Fitch usual was in suspicion. a world of hurt, Randy Couture, and now he gets this done. Oh my goodness. I have no that idea what that was. That, that might have been one of the most entertaining rounds we've seen in a long time. Big cut under the left eye of Fitch. I cannot tell what he caught him with. That was amazing. As we said less than two minutes ago, it was John Fitch that was rocked by Brian Foster. Down on the ground, you see the damage done to his face. And then he finds a way to escape and sprawl and get the position. And then it's Brian Foster tapping out midway through the second round. And it takes a lot for Brian Foster to tap out. Yeah, I don't think we've seen that too many times. We will have to find out exactly what happened from our view. I couldn't tell where he caught him, but it was amazing. The turn of events here in Daytona, which led to John Fitch doing an impromptu dance in the infield of the <laughs> Daytona International yeah. Speedway. That was a... Oh, my. Interesting situation. <laughs> and I thought it felt like something happened to Foster before that. He went to all fours. Sure. He let Fitch walk right around him and get to his back. I don't know if they clashed heads. I couldn't tell. I don't see any marks on him. I don't see any blood. And in a very strange position to tap out from. A cross, kind of a cross body ride. Fitch is on top of Foster. I couldn't tell if he isolated an arm with his legs and applied pressure. Let's take a look at the second round once again. Full of action. John Fitch and Brian Foster. And it's the double uppercuts that really started things off. It looks like Brian Foster, Randy, in total control. And Fitch was hurt here, backpedaling, still not on strong legs. And we see this little scramble, and then here, Foster just goes to all fours. Couldn't see anything. There's oh, a big right oh, hook. Oh, oh. Hello. By Brian Foster that, that really started this whole thing off. I thought that was a checkered flag. And I thought that was did it. did look like the finish line right there. Fitch done an amazing job of collecting himself and getting back into this fight. All right, here's where it here's starts to come apart. The sweaty scramble. Here's the crossbody ride. Can't see. He's got the choke Any in. submission here. Oh, he's got it. He's, he's got, got it. it. A bulldog choke. Full. That's what it was. Good job, boys. Could not see it from that angle. And there's the bulldog choke. Very nice. Fitz. It's so basically a rear naked choke rear with naked no choke anchors side. Yeah, from a cross side position. That's why it looks so strange. I couldn't see that he had it from that other camera angle. But Amazing. with a guy with almost 40 professional fights, that's part of his arsenal. He's going to pull something out. The dancing, not so much, but the finish, <laughs> Randy Gator. Yeah, I'm not sure dancing with the stars is in his future. Maybe. Wow, John Fitch. The 39-year-old comes to Daytona and picks up his 30th professional win. We'll talk to him when we return to the Professional Fighters League.